Alright, welcome back. Welcome back to another episode. Paint Week. Paint Part week. 2. <laughs> Part 2, yes. Yeah. So this is outside of the caravan. So a big job. It's a bit of a daunting task. It's kind of one that I've been like, oh, this is the last biggest job we got to do. Yep. Yeah. And we are two people that have never sprayed paint before. So we've rolled and brushed, but we've never sprayed. Yeah. With this, we're going to spray just because it's quicker, easier, better finish. So yeah. Um, so as you can see, we are partnering with White Knight again. So this time with the Rust Guard range, same thing as with um, the Tile Laminate range. So we just had heard really good things and that's why we reached out to White Knight to see if they'd sponsor us for this and they have, which is awesome. Yeah. Using the Rust Guard range to do the exterior. Um, then we've got some paints to do the new draw bar as well, just to cover that. Um, but as we're going through the video, we'll obviously go through the products in more detail with what we're doing. See, there is quite a bit to do with painting outside of the caravan. So we have a little bit on in this episode, and this is probably going to take us about five days, I think, in total. total yeah. Because we're, it's... We're going to yeah. prep everything, like pull all the windows out, clean all the sealants that are on the caravan off, sand the caravan. Yeah, uh, wipe down the caravan. Yeah. Then there's the process of obviously, you know, doing the primer, doing two top coats. And as we've learned recently, it is humid up here where we are in Mackay. So it does limit the time frame we've got for painting as well. So we're only really painting now between 10 and 4. Anytime out of, outside of that, it is like 80% humidity, which isn't ideal for painting. So time to get started. We're going to first up take the windows out. We'll show that process, we'll run through it all like we usually do. We are excited to get started. Hi. You gonna walk past there? All right, so we got the roof on the source tools. Because we've um, already finished the ceiling, we chuck the mattress on the saw stools to protect the ceiling. And now I'm just gonna go tape around all the bottom. So I've already given the roof light really good sand. Um, so now it just needs a wipe down. So I'm gonna go through, wipe that down. It'll be nice and clean and ready for a coat. Okay, so this is the last top coat for the roof. Um, so yesterday I was kind of struggling with the paint a little bit. That's why we're practicing on the roof first because you don't see it. But yeah, I'd sprayed the uh, etch primer or the SLS um, primer. And um, I used a lot of paint doing that. And I was like, oh, that's too much paint. So then we rolled the first top coat and then we were like not uh, happy with the roller finish I guess it's not too bad but I reckon spraying is a better finish so now we're gonna spray the last top coat see how I go with that if that doesn't work I don't know what we're gonna do <laughs> Start. 
We did have a crack already though. Yeah, it well, was getting replaced. We were going to replace the glass. So. saw me break that front window and then while I was working on the front of the caravan I remembered that every single other window I took out I had that window open so I think that's going to make a huge difference because when I pull on this frame it's going to twist it a bit but if the window's out here the window won't twist so if you're going to pull your windows out open them first all you're going to do is go around and take all these screws out get a flat blade like paint scraper or something and just push it in there and just give it a bit of a jimmy out. And then see if you can get most of the way around with that, probably do the other corner. And then just, you'll notice the window just start to pull free. Um, that's if you've still got the like mastic in there. If someone's gone through and sick of flex your windows in, then you're, you're on your own with that one. But yeah, this with the mastic, it's pretty easy. morning another big day at prepping the van um luke's just continuing getting all of the old silicon off mastic, mastic from around the window so i'm gonna try to get all these stickers off which i just tried a little bit and it's really hard because they're like baked on there so i've just got like one of these scrapers and we'll give it a go we only got two to get off and the front one's half off anyway but this one's really baked on there so and the sound that it makes, makes my teeth go like Meh. It's gross, it's like nails on a chalkboard. So maybe I need to put headphones on or something, I don't know. I'm gonna go put OC Show back on because she's not happy. <laughs> all right, so the windows are all out and cleaned up. So now I'm going to start stripping all the accessories on the side. I've already taken like the light out and stuff, but now I'm gonna go through, pull off all these rails for the awning annex whatever it's called pull off all these j rails um we go all the way around the bottom this wheel arch thing do 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 pull all this stuff off let the lights dangle there and uh, i'm just gonna leave the door in because the door is fine um and i'm just gonna paint this bit white when we get to the lights yeah the door i don't want to mess with too much and there's nothing wrong with it so we'll just leave that like that
hours worth of scraping and scrubbing and whatever else you got to do to get it all off I reckon on this side it's not even all off yet but I'm hoping to when I sand it it'll get the little bits off um, on this side probably three or four hours just getting the J-rails off, scraping the stuff off the windows, all the mastic and silicon. There was these annex rails that were all siliconed on. Just took ages to get off, so yeah. Now I'm gonna sand this side, get it all looking schmick. So we're all taped up. One more thing I'm going to do before I spray is give it a wipe down, get all the dust off. I've already given it one wipe down. I'm going to give it another wipe down just to get any excess dust or residues and stuff off there. So the paint can stick properly. Nice delivery. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, come here. Right. Oh. Hey guys, are you going to help with painting? Good boy. All right, because we're spraying, we're going to thin this paint down. Um, this little gauge came with the paint gun, so this will be your paint level, and that'll be your ten percent of thin. So we'll do that. <laughs> went, a little, went a little bit above me paint, but it's all right. It's been about two hours now, so with this etch guard primer, it 10 minutes touch dry, two hours recoat. Now we have really good weather today, so the humidity up here is sitting at about I think 48% today, between like 10 and 4, which is why we're doing the painting now. So that's really great humidity for paint to dry. It's been two hours, so Luke's just prepping the yellow paint now. We'll go check that out. We're just so excited to see some colour draws again. This has been a long time coming. So we'll just go show you guys the yellow that we picked. Alright, colour reveal. <laughs> so you try to keep it like a classic-y looking colour. I'll get it, get it in the sun. Ta -da. Yeah, there we go. All the way, baby. <laughs> and the colour is actually rocket launch, which so, car. yeah, so our old troopy was called Rocket. So when we saw the colour and we knew we wanted a yellow and we saw Rocket launch and we are like, oh, that's nice. So, yeah, a little bit of a heartwarming story behind our paint choice. Yeah. But, yeah, keen. Got to get Let's this get on there. The wind's picked up a little bit now, so I'm a little bit worried about that. But we have no choice. We've got to paint. If you paint, though, on the other side, like you did earlier, you'll have a bit of a wind block. That's the way to go. Before we painted, spun the caravan around, painted again. So I think that's the goer. Yep. Anyway, let's mix this up. So I'm doing the same again. Um, 
but this time I'm using water to thin it down. It's water-based paint, so. Do not use thinners in a water-based paint. No, please don't. <laughs> oh, look at that yellow. Oh my gosh, it's so yellow. So yeah, with spraying, you definitely, well, from what we've figured out, is you definitely need to thin out your paint. Yep. So with the primer, we thinned with thinners because it was a oil-based oil -based paint. Yep. And then this one is water. So recommended is generally 10%, which is what we're going with. have our first coat of top coat. I did have one little problem. So this section here I'm just gonna have to re-sand. I don't know if you can see it on here but a little bit of stuff came out of the gun but I'll just give it this section a light sand. All the other stuff's fine but perfect around here all perfect. But yeah, just that one section. I think it might have had something to do with me cleaning the gun, the enamel, uh, the oil base with thinners, and then using water base. It's been about two hours now, so it's ready for a second one. We're liking the color. It's, I mean, it looks a little bit different in the tin. I guess it's because in the tin, it's obviously in an enclosed space, and this is obviously out in the sunshine. So it's a very bright yellow, but it is growing on me. We did want bright, um, but yeah, Luke's just getting ready for the second coat. Prepping for the second coat. Good stuff. Oh, need more of the next can. Yeah, so we've got two tins. So that, all everything we just did, like that one coat, was what maybe half a can, three quarters. Probably two thirds, yeah. Which is pretty good, well, like one liter of paint. Pretty close to half a can, yeah. I might get the whole coat of this one, we'll see. Cool. Strike with one litre. I think we worked it out. We're like, oh, one litre should do it. And then we're like, oh, we don't want to run out of paint. So yeah. We got no, two good to, yeah. The one litre. True. I think just in general, um, spraying seems like it definitely uses more paint does, yeah. than rolling. So just a tip for anyone. Um, because we did in the end actually have to order more paint because... When we did the roof, we, we realised, yeah. yeah, still going through this a bit quicker. I feel like if we rolled, we would probably get away with one can, maybe. Yeah. Just food for thought, but the finish with a spray is definitely a lot nicer. It's very smooth. Yeah, as smooth as me. Alright, it's a bit windy to paint today, which really sucks, so we're not going to get any white done. Um, but what I can do is peel off this and we can see what it looks like, which I'm excited for. Looking good. blown away we're in a literal wind tunnel <laughs> Yay! The colour looks great. 
gonna look really good with the white because yeah the white's a bit more of a like creamy off-white well i mean it's the same as what's on the inside so here is our makeshift booth for the paint for the white paint today is the day low humidity no wind but we've decided this time to paint in here just so we're completely in the shade um so yeah it's gonna be a bit tight but that's all right we'll make it work this is our option so that's what we're going with hopefully everything's gonna go right it will i have faith because the last few days have not been ideal we are about to chuck the edge primer on where all the white is um as you can see we have a new painting area we tried painting out in the field but it was, the problem was the sun so it was heating up the paint too much and it was drying unevenly and it was then making tiny little bubbles pop underneath like the skin on the paint surface so i'm going to do it in the shade today and then hopefully we don't get any little bubbles going over the van which has already been sanded and Luke has done the fenders on it. I'm just going over. I'm gonna just get put fenders all over the van just to make sure it's really clean. And then we're just gonna start with the edge primer yep. before we go on to the white. So yeah same process as we do with our yellow stripe pretty much. Um, we'll wait maybe a little more than two hours today because um, it is a little bit humid. I think it's like 60% humidity. So might wait like three hours before we do the coat of white. layer of our top coat so we've got the advanced enamel quick dry top coat um, it's a satin finish again and it is the color is ocean pearl again which is what we painted on the inside um, we went with the satin finish because gloss can show a lot of imperfections in the paneling of a 40 year old van so yeah, we just went with satin finish. Should look pretty good. Just give it a real good mix. You can see how thick it is when you're pouring it out. So, quite a thick paint. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
three coats on the caravan at the moment. Um, so on my second coat, I did quite late, or quite late in the afternoon, about four, four thirty. The humidity was about sixty-five percent, but then as soon as it hit five, it jumped up to like ninety-five percent, and I ended up with some runs because it didn't dry properly. But now with the third coat, you can see it still, but only just. So to fix these runs, what I did was I got a Stanley blade and just put it flat on there and then just scraped nice and lightly over the high spots and then gave it a sand and it's quite um, a lot better than what it was. These were like really, really raised, looked really, really bad. But now it looks pretty good, especially when you take a step back. Now, I'm going to do one more coat on this section only, just because of the bad runs. This was the only section that got runs on it. Um, but yeah, the rest of it looks really, really good. So happy with it. What do you think, Charlie? Looks good. Matches you. Yeah, I'll give you a nice close-up of the paint finish here. So this is out of a spray gun. Alright, so I'm just giving the J rails a bit of a spruce up. You can see how yuck they look. This is one I've done before. So you can see the difference. Nice and shiny. Oxidated, covered in silicon. So what I'm doing, ah, oh, got me good. So I'm just using this uh, wire brush thing. Uh, this one normally goes on a grinder, but it's good to hold in the hand. Giving it a scrub with that. And then I've just got aluminium polish and just giving it a wipe up with that. To reseal all the J rails and stuff, I've got this um, mastic tape and it just makes life so easy. You just go along, stick it on each side of this, start at the top obviously, but yeah, a run down there and a run down here. So this side's completely finished. Done all the mastic in the windows as well. So works out pretty good. And then once you screw it on, it oozes out and then you can just cut the rest off with like a plastic putty knife or something. I didn't do any along the bottom because never any on the bottom and I think that's to allow water to escape if it gets in there. And we've got our new wheel spats. This other lever is called a wheel spat. So because the, um, the sheeting on here is like not straight, it's the corrugated type of sheeting in these sections I normally just like push in where I can and then when I slice off here it just slices around can you do it with a knife and then that does anything sharp well I wouldn't do it with a knife in case it scratches the paint true yeah. and then I get some more of the off cut if they need more in these sections and then I'll just fill it some more. There you go. Easy. Easy. Last but not least is the drawbar painting and a little bit of chassis work. So we've got here the uh, metal primer from White Knight and then we are going over that with the Epoxy enamel aluminium finish. Main thing is to just seal up all these welds and raw bits of steel. So I'm just going to brush and roll it on, uh, mainly because I don't want to get overspray all over the new paint. So first job is to just hit it all with a wire brush and a bit of sanding. I've done most of the drawbar already. I'll get underneath here and just hit all that with a wire brush. And get some paint on it.
I've got the primer on. It's looking pretty good. Uh, I'm pretty happy with the foam roller finish on it. So you can get a pretty similar finish as a spray gun with a foam roller too. Yeah, got all that done. Painted all the way under. And now we've got to wait. With this one here, we've got a, um, what is it? 16 hour dry time or recoat time. So I think mean, six hour dry time, 16 hour recoat time. So tomorrow we'll start the top coat. is the drawbar all finished up all the accessories put on there got our toolbox got our um, pole holder and it's already done about um, 100 k's of dirt road and it's holding up quite well which is great to see and still painted all the way under here all the way through to the back and we also added this um, spare wheel carrier and had this little frame made up and that's all painted too so yeah this is the van doing what it loves to do